Hey everybody, this is Life with Luke number 82, the final installment of our epic series through the Gospel of Luke. This past weekend, we read the end of chapter 24, which is the way that Luke brings his uh, story, his presentation of Jesus to a close. And it's really interesting, and it's not exactly what you might think. So at the beginning of this series, when we started seeing how Luke was laying out the life of Jesus, we saw how he was showing how Jesus was the fulfillment of all the sorts of things that have been written about him. And it began in the temple with Zechariah and then later with Mary. They were startled and afraid. And God came to them and reassured them and told them that this was only going to be possible through the work of the Holy Spirit. And there's a lot of emphasis on the reality of Jesus' body as he really comes into the world through a vulnerable human baby. And then uh, John the Baptist proclaims that God is calling people to a repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And then Luke tells this whole epic story of Jesus, what he said and what he did and what it means. And he comes to the end, and what do we find? We find a completion of the circle, this beautiful whole story, the presentation that Luke gives us, where Jesus has fulfilled all the scriptures that have been written about him how the disciples are startled and afraid, but they're being reassured and they're told that they will be given the gift of the Holy Spirit. And there's an emphasis on the reality of Jesus' body. In fact, he even eats a piece of fish. And now they're sent out with a message of repentance and forgiveness for the whole world. The whole story has come full circle. Luke is not saying, okay, I'm done with the story of Jesus, the end, we can move on now to something else. No, that's that story of the, the circle tells us that God is still the same God as he was when Jesus came into the world. He's still reaching out to people through the life of Jesus. He is still the God who desires for people to, to return to him, to come and, and uh, respond with their whole life to him. See, Luke is telling us that it is not over. It is only beginning. And so as we come to the end of this series, I invite you to go listen to the, to the message and then join us where that goes from here as we continue to follow Jesus uh, through Luke's gospel, but also beyond. Because God is calling us to a life with him through the ministry of Jesus in the power of the Holy Spirit. So continue to come and join us on this epic journey. Have a great week and thanks for joining us.